So now we're going to work on finding the best apical views. So I'm going to, again, put the probe down and I'm going to do my circle survey or I'll go window shopping and stumble into where the brightest image is for my apicals. This is uh, a, a very nice apical view with a young person. And so I want to look at image composition here. If I had a bright right ventricle in my parasternal views and now I have that left in my apicals, I want to get rid of that over brightness. I want to have good image composition throughout this field of view. So I'm going to back down my TGCs up there and now I have a nice image again throughout. Sometimes the posterior is bright in the peristernal and again we don't want to have this in our image. We want nice image composition throughout the entire field of view. So I'm going to back off those, those distal or far field TGCs. We want to make sure that we have adjusted our frequency to optimize the best detail of the endocardium as well as nice valve detail. You don't want to have a too low of a frequency to see one thing when you're actually focusing on something else. So the highest frequency you can use is always the best way to go. So now I'm in a nice apical four chamber view. How do I know that's a good apical four chamber view? Well I have a lot of experience. If I was seeing this and I'm bringing in the aortic the aorta here in the left ventricular outflow tract, that means I have two anterior of a four chamber view. That's not truly the four chamber view. Conversely, if I'm starting to see a vessel back here, this vessel is the coronary sinus and it comes around in the AV groove and then it drops into the right atrium. So if I see the coronary sinus or I'm starting to see an opening on the inner atrial septum from the four chamber view, I'm too posterior. I need to make sure to angle more anterior to bring in the true four chamber view. Also, it's very easy to have a foreshortened apical view. Let me see if I can find one in this case. Here's somewhat of an example. He's not so easy to get that on, but quite often it happens. You see the apex here is not sort of, you want the apex almost to be a point kind of pinching off. Here it seems to be coming in almost as if it's a short axis coming in. That means we're foreshortening the apex. So often then, here in this case as well. You need to find a lower window, an angle steeper, angle higher up into the chest to open up the, to open up the apex. So now you can see here is a perfect apical shot. It's almost pinching off there if you look compared to the cursor. It's not coming in the way the sidewall is or the way the short axis does. It's nearly pinching off. That means we've got a nice shot of the apex. With no aorta, no coronary sinus. That means we have a good apical four chamber view. Again, two anterior, the aorta comes in, we go towards the apical five chamber view. Two posterior, coronary sinus comes in, and that means we're two posterior and that's not a good apical four chamber view. So that is the best apical four chamber view right there. Often when I'm working with students, I'll see a four chamber like this. This is quite a good four chamber. We've got the apex, very nice to see. The endocardium is very good. All the chambers are there. The mitral and the tricuspid are well seen. But notice that the, the whole heart is shooting, is aiming off the screen the wrong way. We want it to be like this. Well, how do you get there? Well, look at my hand again. If the apex is pointing off to the right, I'm going to move my probe to the right. And now you can see I'm going more vertical now. So again, if the apex is pointing right, I'm going to move to the right. Now, if we're in this situation and the apex is pointing to the left, I'm going to move my probe to the left and again I've made the apex more vertical. So we've, we've learned AO is two anterior, coronary sinus is two posterior, and how to orient the view if it's, if it's pointing, if the apex is pointing off the right side of the screen, we move right, and if the apex is pointing off the left side of the screen, we move left to get the perfect four-chamber view.